Hello all, my name is Latan Garibovic. Uh, I am from InfoBip and I'll be presenting uh, InfoBip signals. My role in InfoBip is product manager for identity and security. So let's begin. The product today which I, which I will be speaking about is signals and the signals is combating the artificial generated traffic, especially for the SMS. Uh, we are all aware that SMS is really undisputed the leading channel for the communication, but also this channel is also used a lot for the authentication purposes like SMS OTP, and it is a important revenue generator for the MNOs and the whole ecosystem. Unfortunately, this product is also being abused by fraudsters of all kinds by introducing the bots and the costs for the brands um, we noticed that enterprises begin to complain about the uh, volumes and amounts of the sms otp being sent through our platform and this uh, hurled us and we wanted to investigate what was going on and actually what we saw is that up to 25 percent of one network traffic can be uh, marked as a fraudulent based on our internal investigation and algorithms that we detected, which are combating the artificial generated traffic. And what we also learned from the discovery with the clients and combating the bots is costly and it can cause the friction on the client side. And usually they are not ready to build a solution which will combat the, the artificial generated traffic. They are doing their own business. So this is where we want to step in and solve this issue. When we talk about the uh, artificial generated traffic, we have one observed case where we are also fire provider. One of the clients uh, experienced uh, over 2 million SMSs within 30 days. And we really uh, saw this network was abused uh, on multiple clients as well. And our investigation uh, show that a lot of this traffic were actually uh, from the similar ranges and uh, their visible patterns of the in the data. And when we saw that one preferred aggregator was changed, that the traffic normalized back. And uh, this is what we observed as a fire provider. When we talk about the marketplace for this product, it is a uh, huge because each SMS OTP client is potentially client of the signals as well. And usually bots are used for scraping the web and all kinds of automated things, but also it can be used uh, for fraudulent purposes. Usually the capture isn't enough and you can solve the capture. There are tools also to solve the capture and only the SMS OTP behavior and the destination behavior can uh, truly help the clients to stop this fraud. The solution that market needed was the solution which will combat this issue at, at the beginning of the attack. Uh, to, it requires that there is no development from the clients, so it needs to be part of the CPAS platform. And one of the requirements is to have L, as least as false positive as possible. So that means that we are only uh, blocking the fraud traffic, not legitimate one. The concept what we did is we took the our experience with the SMS firewall. We we wanted to build a solution which will combat the artificial generated traffic in the real time, and we want to an analyze the anomalies and destination with our uh, proprietary. Uh, algorithms and machine learning models which we built to to detect this fraud and we wanted to this solution to be part of the infobit platform and part of our CPAS offering as add-on we also uh, discovered the uh, anomalies and detect the uh, anomaly patterns we want to block because um, like number of the messages that each number is receiving a day, the ranges that are receiving the traffic. And uh, this solution need to automatically detect the fraud and stop it immediately.
Now I'll explain how it works. So on the left side, you will see the end users and the enterprises in the middle with the info on the right with the signals. So there are multiple legitimate interactions uh, with the brand, with their users, forgot password, that so on, or 2FA login. But some of them are the fraudsters. And when the clients want to send the OTP to the destination, it will first come to the info platform where our platform will check with the signals, is this phone number fraudulent or not? The signals will determine the phone number score, risk score based on the behavior and the trusted signals as well. And it will calculate the final score, which is from zero to 100. If a uh, threshold for the blocking, for example, is set at 50, that means that everything above 50 will be blocked and under 50 will be passed to the destination and proclaim that it is not a bot. So that this way the clients can control with the risk thresholds, uh, do they want to pass the traffic or not, or do they want to block more aggressively or not. Uh, this is one example of the fraud, which is most common one is prefix fraud, where attackers usually attack not single destination, but uh, the range of the numbers. Usually it is done in the sequence. They are just sending the one message and to the one number or two messages. And when we we'll track this uh, destination individually, you will see that there is nothing suspicious. But when we uh, check the whole prefix of the numbers or group of the thousand numbers, then you will see that the group of the thousand numbers is, receive exactly thousand or two thousand or more messages. And this is not normal behavior. Um, the business model here is to bring trust back to the ecosystem. You all heard about Elon Musk claiming $60 million damage to the Twitter done by telco industry. And we want to bring back this trust in the industry. So signals, the main goal of the signals is to prevent the, the cost generated by this inflated SMS or voice traffic. We also want to remove the friction of the client's website or application without impacting the legitimate interactions, legitimate users. And we want to remove the damage to the brand by having the process on their platform. And when we talk about solution itself, scalability, it is in early access phase. And once the solution is fully matured, we will allow it globally. Currently, we have six clients in the pilot with over one and a half million uh, dollars uh, savings within only one month. And we want to return the revenue of the SMS OTP back to the telco industry from other channels like uh, email or OTT players. When we talk about uh, our competency and our team, so we built the signals uh, with our expertise of our SMS firewall, uh, developers who actually uh, have 15 years of the experience combating uh, bots, SIM farms, uh, spam, and so on on the firewall side. Uh, our data scientists help us a lot to detect the patterns and fraudulent uh, behavior. Uh, our product team, development team, did ensure that uh, all the client needs were met and the interviews are done properly. Our security and fraud engineers helped us a lot with their experience combating the bots and frauds. And of course, the routing and platform operations helped us to operate the product day-to-day -day basic, basic routine job, like uh, changing the networks, adding the new clients in the pool, and so on. As you may know, we are really uh, along, we have a lot of experience in this industry, like over 20 years in the market with 15 years with the SMS firewall. And uh, what we want to build is really great solution uh, with uh, client needs at the first hand. It means that we prevent uh, the costs of the, these attacks and to utilize the strength of the tools that we ha have available today, like machine learning and artificial intelligence to help us detect the patterns and anomalous, uh, anomalies in the data. Uh, so when we talk about this technology, like I said, machine learning and artificial intelligence for the uh, analyzing the traffic and finding the fraudulent patterns and uh, anomalies in the traffic. 
also we use the cloud computing to store and uh, process a large uh, amounts of the data and uh, with the big data we used kafka and so on a lot of other tools to process the messages in the real time and the mark the destinations and it's fraudulent when we build the solution we talk with the several clients we did the discovery calls we define their needs we want to uh, have solution which will detect the the fraud we want solution which will uh, block this uh, for them and we want a solution that we will we can share the data about amounts and the savings with them. Currently, we are having uh, six clients in this early access space with great results. The future plans are really uh, exciting. We want to combine this with the SMS firewall. We want to introduce the more models and the patterns to detect the fraud. We will allow the brands itself to fine tune the system. So that means that they, they could uh, have um, different thresholds based on the market. For example, for their primary markets, they don't want to be so aggressive. But for those markets that it's not their primary, they maybe want to have more aggressive blocking. And we will also integrate with the third-party sources to introduce some more data, uh, which we can then de decide based on that data what is fraudulent or not. The next steps for the product is to allow and open it globally for our Infobit clients. We will continue to improve and develop this product and scalability and all the tech detection mechanisms. And we will allow other telco players in the industry to open the solution to them to, to increase the offering and to see if there's an interest in this. And that's all. Thank you very much for your time.